construction of the Argyle International Airport began in August 2008 and it's the single largest project ever to be constructed in the history of the country. Construction of this project entails the removal of three mountains, the filling of two valleys and the spanning of a river. The airport boasts a runway length of 9,000 feet and 150 feet in width. The runway is being paved with asphalt while the aprons are being done in hydraulic concrete. While work on the runway component is continuing, all of the subsidiary buildings are substantially complete. The actual construction of the passenger terminal building was completed in 2013. Retrofitting work on the building is continuing and will be completed within the next couple of months. The terminal building has a total of 375,000 square feet and is three floors high. It is diagnosed to accommodate 400 passengers departing and 400 arriving at its busiest hour. Another significant component of the Argyle International Airport is the control tower, which has already been completed. The base of the tower was constructed by local company, Franco Construction, while Canadian company Aeronav built and assembled the air traffic control cabin. This impressive structure is four floors high. It will accommodate air traffic controllers as well as meteorological staff. There is also space for airport emergency personnel. This is the aircraft rescue and firefighting station. It was constructed in 2014 by the Barbadian firm Inotech. The station has four bays three of which will accommodate fire tenders and the other for maintenance. Another feature of the construction of the International Airport at Argyle is the spanning of the Yambu River. This is one of the main rivers in St. Vincent. In the rainy season, it carries large volumes of water as it drains the nearby Maraco Valley. The river cuts across the path of the runway and has to be rerouted and spanned. Work in this area has started. The first layers of concrete have been laid. All work in this area will be completed by the end of the second quarter of 2015. A cargo terminal building will also be constructed as part of the project. This will facilitate the farming community as well as boost the agricultural industry, one of the main pillars of the Vincentian economy. Agricultural produce will be exported in a timely manner to international markets through the use of this facility. Meanwhile, work continues on the land reclamation at the northeastern end of the project where the Atlantic meets the shoreline. And work on the pavement of the northern turning head is also nearing completion. This is the main entrance to the passenger terminal building of the Argyle International Airport. All access roads including the road to the passenger terminal building, the permanent access road from the Monco corner to Raraku have commenced. In the meantime, the company is continuing work on the parking lot area. With the ongoing works continuing at a feverish pace and 80% of the earthworks having been completed, the Argyle International Airport is well on its way to completion. The IADC is projecting that by the middle of this year, the project will have taken its final shape and ready to be operational by year end. But in all this, there will be an inevitable demand for support and logistical services in the areas of warehouse and other industrial premises. I'm standing on the commercial apron in front of the passenger terminal building of the Argyle International Airport. On the southern side, construction is continuing on the general apron, where it will house the FBO, private hangars and the cargo terminal. JIC Holdings, therefore, is interested in securing units within the airport terminal along with involvement in the cargo area.